okay guys in this tutorial we will learn that how we can label the x-axis and y-axis within any plot or graph but first of all we need to make a graph so for it you need to write 1 colon 0 point 0.1 colon 100 okay what it will do that this vector starts from 1 and goes to 100 with a step size of 0.1 step size of 0.1 means that in every element within this vector there is a difference of 0.1 just like it starts from 1 it goes to 0.1 and then 0.2 and then 0.3 and so on and all the values are then stored inside this variable d because is equal to is the assignment operator okay and now we will run it uh, we will like leveler we will save it now you can see that the vector is inside displayed inside the command window it starts from like yeah 1 1.2 1.3 1. etc that is 1 then 1.1 1. 1.2 1. 1.3 1. and so on. then we will write graph is equal to sine of d now what will happen that all the values or inside the d the sign will be taken or sign function will be applied to all the values of d that is first it will be applied on 1.0 then 1.1 then 1.2 and so on okay after it all the values will be stored inside this variable graph you can write any name here it doesn't matter at all okay now we will run it now we can see that we got our sign value now we will plot graph g r a p h graph comma d sorry d comma graph why it is so because d is independent variable and graph is dependent variable upon d because d is basic variable without d we cannot make this graph so that is why d is independent and graph is dependent upon d and we know that all the independent quantities will be uh, on x axis and all the dependent quantities on the y axis so now we will run it and we will see that we will we will get this graph but here there isn't anything mentioned on x and y axis so we will just write x level and y level and x level you can write like uh, time and in y level you can write amplitude you can write the string of your own choice like you can write here time here voltage or here frequency and here is amplitude it's up to you so now we will run it and now you can see that we have displayed the text on our label on x axis and y axis so hopefully you got the concept thanks for watching